So now we're on page 136 in the back of the book, as it says in this lovely writing three times. I think I'm going to clear that. Uh, delete. There we go. So, yes, irregular verbs in the past. If they are positive, we need to learn. And I said to you already, try to start with the ones that are easy to learn. Don't forget, if it's negative, we use didn't and the original verb. We don't change anything, okay? I bought some jeans, but I didn't buy a t-shirt, okay? We went to the supermarket, but we didn't go to the market, okay? I put on a jacket, but I didn't put on a hat, okay? Um, I thought it was your sister. I didn't think it was your mother. <laughs> I don't know where I get these crazy examples from. Anyway, yeah, so you can listen to this one, and if, of course, questions, did you, and then the original verb, the infinitive. Some verbs in the past are irregular, and they change their form, go, went, have, had. We only use the irregular past form in positive sentences. I bought a bag last night. We go back to the infinitive, the first form of the verb, after did or didn't. Did you go out last night? Not did you went. Okay, ignore all of that. It's horrible. <laughs> Don't forget he, she, and it. There's no S on the end. All the forms of the verb are the same. The past simple of can is could. And we don't need did or didn't for that one. For questions and negatives, we could see the whole of the city. I couldn't see him. Could you wear jeans when you were at school? Okay. It says there's a list of irregular verbs on page 165. Don't forget, if you've got a question word in the sentence, it just comes before the did. Okay. What did you buy the last time you went shopping? Okay. Um... How did you feel yesterday? When did you find out that you were in this class? What did you get as a present for your last birthday? Okay. When did you go um, to London the last time? Okay. Why did you have uh, an umbrella when it's not raining? <laughs> How did you know that I was going to give such a crazy example? <laughs> what did she say? What did they take to the picnic? Why did she think I was your brother? And what did you wear when you got married? Okay, that's a good question for a speaking exam. What did you wear when you got married? Wow, okay. Right, let's go back to page 59. Uh, no, we're not, we're, oh, silly me. We're going back to where we were. <laughs> we're gonna stay on that page, aren't we? I don't know, right. Let's go back to where we were in the back of the book and do some practice. Oh, dear me. Honestly, what did I do? Hmm? Yeah. Right, back to what did I do here? What did I do wrong? Where did we finish? Why did I go back in the book? Okay, what did I say? Here we go. <laughs> right. Use, you've got to correct the information using the word in, bra in brackets. So she put on a coat, jacket. And the answer, she didn't put on a coat. She put on a jacket. She wore a red dress. No, she didn't. She didn't wear a red dress. She wore a blue dress. Okay. I want you to do the other ones. And I'm going to put up the answers in five, four, three, two, one. One, I didn't come home early, I came home late. We didn't go by train, we went by bus. He didn't say, hello, he said, goodbye. You didn't have a sandwich, you had a salad. He didn't know her surname, he knew her first name. Okay, then we'll go back to the front of the book and we'll do part three. Okay. <laughs>